Yo, what's up guys? Today is an epic day. Welcome back to the vlog. So, today is an epic day because I finally got, I got another part in for the 240. AKA Regina, AKA the Evil Queen. Yes, uh, this, uh, as you, those of you who may not know yet that, you know, maybe you're coming in at this video. This is my RE25 swapped 240SX S13. Um, I ordered an OBX brand uh, RB25 downpipe. It was about $130 shipped, a little under $130 shipped. Uh, so here it is, as you can see, big box. Uh, let's go ahead and just get this open. Packaging is very nice. A lot of foam in here. What is this? Thank you. Give us five stars. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Well, it's in here. It's a, it's a one piece design. Uh, there's this cardboard. Nothing. And nothing. So it doesn't come with any gaskets, which kind of sucks. But hey, whatever. I'll just reuse this top one. And it doesn't seem like it comes with any hardware either. Well, I mean. <laughs> That was kind of noticeable even when I bought it um, online. You could see that it just came with the, the downpipe. It didn't actually show a uh, gaskets or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get this out of the uh, wrapping. Actually, still in my working uniform because uh, I'm on my lunch break right now. Oh, this is nice. This looks to be a, it's a three inch downpipe. Now let's go ahead and just get the rest of this on. Now this is for the RB25 and for Nissan Skyline, but I heard that the downpipes should work. Uh, I read a few mixed reviews or whatever on it. But hopefully this will bolt up to my stock exhaust. If not, then I'll just have uh, this cut off and re-weld it back on. All right, so all in all, it looks pretty good. It looks really good on the outside. The welds on the outside look really good. I don't know if you can see or not. But yeah, the welds look really good on the outside. So, and then you got the O2 bone there. Um, I'm not gonna put this on at this moment. I'll probably put it on after I get off work, mainly because uh, I'm at, I'm on my lunch break right now, so and I don't have the car jacked up, so because I'm gonna have to put this into the bottom. Definitely, I'll have to put that into the bottom. Yep. So with that said, until I get off work, guys. So I actually decided to uh, go ahead and try and get this knocked out on my lunch break. Um, mainly because I live right next to work, so I have a little bit of time uh, to try and at least get as much as I can done. I already took the old, kind of janky, modified uh, <laughs> one off uh, that's clearly not going to work. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, 
car jacked up on this side and then uh, we'll start just trying to work this uh, up into a spot that needs to be in. So let's get to it. First, my food just beeped, so I'm gonna go check on that. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and set me a, a timer and an alarm so that I'm not late back going back, bleh, so that I'm not late going back to work. So, um, 35. Gives me 22 minutes to eat something and maybe try and get this in there. I think I can do it. So back to try and get this in there. All right, from what I'm seeing with that flange on the bottom, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to uh, uh, have that cut off and re-welded re -welded in the right spot because it's kind of angled in a different direction. A little bit too sharp of a direction to, so uh, yeah. So I'll just take it to a local muffler shop and have them cut and re-weld that in the right spot. So, but with that said, it looks good, um, I mean, it's up here. I obviously I haven't gotten it uh welded up or anything, but with the way things are looking, I mean it's gonna clear that steering knuckle really really easy. So uh but with that said, let's go ahead and get this the gasket in there and then I'll start bolting it back up. So yeah. Hmm. So I got the downpipe mostly in. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my vegan diet, my my vegan diet, my vegan lunch real quick. And uh, these are just Brussels sprouts, seasoned, really good. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, eat these, and uh, then we'll get back to that. Well, it doesn't look like I'm gonna uh, <laughs> get it finished before I have to go back to work because I have to go back right now, and I'm not finished. So. With that said, I will finish this after work, so until I get back. What's up guys? Back from work here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that the uh, go ahead and get the downpipe, go ahead and get it tightened back down. Uh, tightened down, not back down, because I haven't tightened it down yet. But as you can see as of right now, it's in there. Um, yeah, this is it right here. It's really it's really nice, it's really good quality. It uh, looks like it kind of touches the uh, steering arm right here, but I can probably fix that by adjusting where the engine sits just a little bit. But if anything, um, I can uh, hit that spot in with a hammer just a tiny bit just to give it the room that it needs, um, which actually I'll probably do right now. So I'm probably just going to take this back out. I'm going to mark it with a marker and then uh, with a Sharpie and then just kind of put a dent in that spot. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. I finally got the uh, the downpipe all bolted up. Um, it is going to be rubbing on that steering column a little bit, but I think that the steering column will end up rubbing a, a groove into it. And uh, if anything, if it rubs through, then I'll just have it cut and rewelded. Uh, so if that's the case, then like I said, I'll have it cut very well. But I'm going to show you guys what it looks like from underneath. It actually turned out pretty well. I did bang out a spot into it for the groove. I mean for the uh, the, the steering arm, steering column, whatever you want to call it. But it was still not enough. So let's get down there and take a look at it. So as you can see, there it is, comes down, comes down, it looks like it's going to line up into the right spot, so what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and get the rest of the stock exhaust put back on the car, 
and then see if everything lines up. If everything lines up, then this was a freaking steal. It means that I don't have to cut anything, at least not at this point. Uh, if it, like I said, if it does rub a, rub a groove into the, uh, rub a hole into the exhaust, then what I'll do is I'll just have it, that section cut out and then have a groove piece kind of welded back in or that, or if by that time, if I have a welder, then I'll do it myself and see how that goes. So, but with that said, it is in and I am extremely happy about it. And tomorrow the wiring harness gets here and then the Saturday the, the hoses and stuff gets here. So awesome, 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 awesome. <laughs> so freaking excited. It's coming together slowly but surely. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump under the car and see if this all hooks up to the rest of the stock exhaust. And then uh, we'll go from there. Yo, yeah, what's up guys? So I fitted up the rest of the stock exhaust. I have a gutted uh, OE cat that was on the car originally. I well, wasn't gutted, but I gutted it myself. But it lines up. This OBX downpipe, it's a complete downpipe, dump, downpipe, all in one, fits perfect. I mean, aside from it still interfering with the steering column just a little bit, it is nowhere near the steering knuckle where the stock one was rubbing at really bad. It fits perfect. Like it literally, it bolts right up to the turbo and it comes down and it matches up to the stock exhaust for the cat back. Awesome. So I'm able to have the, the gutted cat in there of, as a test pipe or I can have a test buy a test pipe that's three inch to match the exhaust and then get eventually I will be getting a three inch cat back exhaust. Uh, you guys don't know what that is yet, but uh, that will be a surprise for later on down the line. Uh, for but for now, I'll just run the stock gutted cat and the stock exhaust. I know it's not ideal, but that's what I have right now, and uh, <clears throat> so uh, that's what I'll be running until I get the exhaust that I want. Uh, but with that said, guys, it freaking fits. It is the OBX uh, RB25 downpipe. Freaking awesome! I bought it on eBay for less than a hundred and it was like $125 freaking awesome so excited about that freaking win winning hard on this so with that said guys um i'm gonna go ahead and get this all bolted up just so you can see real quick and then i'll show you what it looks like all bolted up to the with the stock well i mean with the obx rp25 downpipe to the stock exhaust with that said let me go ahead and jump back under that under there get it all buttoned up and then we'll go from there and then i'll show you what it looks like and then that'll be it for this video <laughs> All right guys, so I'm back. I got it all buttoned up. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm so excited that this all fits. I was really, really worried that it wasn't going to fit, but the OBX RB25 downpipe freaking works wonders. Works wonders. All right, let's see how this looks. All right. So you can see this is a stock exhaust coming up to, the, uh, to my gutted cat. That's the stock catalytic converter, and bam, bolts right up to the OBX um, downpipe. So, as you can see, it, it does hang just as low as the rest of the exhaust, so I'm not worried about that. It's actually almost perfect, aside from the um, interfering with the steering column, just uh, with the steering column rod, just a little bit. But I'm not too worried about that. Uh, like I said, if it rubs through. Then I'll just have it. Uh, then I'll just, if I have a welder by then, I'll cut and weld in a piece of metal that kind of curves out of the way of um, the steering rod. So, but with that said, <laughs> with that said, guys, I am so excited. Like I said, I am so excited that that works, and I have a full exhaust now, at least until I upgrade the cat back, the, the cat and the cat back. Uh, portion to what I'm what to what I really want so but with that said until next time guys make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because it does go a long ways uh, yeah it helps get the content out there to other 240 enthusiasts like myself um, so uh, and those of you who are also interested in doing an RB25 swap on a budget obviously I am trying to go as budget as possible so um, but with that said, until next time guys, peace out and never look back.